Stuart, good morning. Um, it's been a great start to the season, obviously, at the feet last weekend. When you lost a few weeks ago, you managed to bounce back with a few victories, impressive victories. Is that the hope again this time? How difficult a task will it be this time? Yeah, I think uh, I think the game, if we take the, the game that we've got on Sunday in isolation, it's, it's always one of the more difficult ones, of course it is. I uh, don't think anybody will deny that. At whatever stage you, you, you find yourself playing against Rangers or Celtic, away from home is always going to be incredibly difficult. Um, but I think what we have to, or probably something that we have to hang on to, is, uh, is the level of performance. And yes, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the criticism of we didn't con convert chances, we switch off for a moment, we don't quite get our defensive shape or our press right. Um, so again, I hold my hands up to those small details that are within the game that are so important. Um, but I can tell you that I would far rather get into this game off that level of performance than uh, you know us being really ragged and not having any control of the game, not creating chances. So from that side, I think mentally we're, we're in a real good place. We still acknowledge that, that, that we're playing well. Um, and, and I think it just becomes very simple for us to, to go and build that next game plan of what we're going to face. Now, it becomes hard because of the amount of options that Rangers have got. I was there last night. Really impressive result. Um, I think it, Rangers would probably acknowledge it took them a little bit of time to get going in the game. But once they did, I think they were thoroughly deserving of their victory, in my opinion, against the top side, against a very, very good team. Um, so we have to brace ourselves for that. We have to make sure that um, we go one and have a, a real good defensive organisation, good structure like I thought we did again on, on, on Saturday against St Mirren. But we have to carry the same level of threat that we did and have that belief that we're going to convert a chance if it comes our way. That all sounds great in theory. Um, it's, it, it's just trying to, as I say, make sure that the, the, the players can reach the same levels to, to which they have done pretty much all this season um, and even stretching beyond that as well. You say you were at Ibrox last night. What have you made of them over the season so far? So much talked about. You know, the fans were so unhappy just before the international break, but a massive win yesterday. What have you made of them? I think there's probably nothing I can say that, that that's any different. I, I listen to a lot of media reports, I listen to a lot of interviews, um, uh, you know, you, you, you hear the general noise that surrounds Scottish football um, and always two of the biggest talking points are Rangers and Celtic and the fact that Rangers lose a couple of games of football um, then everybody starts shouting as loud as they possibly can. Um, I've never bought into it too much, I think they've got a, I think they've got a very, very good manager, um, I think they've got a lot of real good resource to bring in the number of players that they have done. And with that, there's always a settling in period. I think your ideal scenario, and far be it, Rangers don't need me to tell them this, but uh, there's, there's always an ideal scenario that everything clicks and every one of the, the new players hits the ground running um, and the manager knows what his best 11 is and how that works. But I think when you have that number of players coming in and that, that overhaul of players, then it can obviously be difficult to, to try and find that exact system and personnel that's going to be a constant for you. Um, and, and, I, and I think it's fair to say that that maybe didn't quite click in a couple of games for Rangers but I certainly seen evidence last night that, that Rangers will be probably where they expect to be which would in my opinion be competing to get out of that, that, that group in the Europa League um, being at the top end of the, uh, the Premier League and competing and probably competing on all fronts in cup competitions that's where they expect to be as a football club and for large chunks last night that's, that's probably what they look like to me Talking about Rangers are where they expect to be in terms of the league table you're currently above them do you feel that the next step for this team under you, you've been so impressive since you've come in, you know, you can look at the league table since you've come in, you're right at the top. Is the next step for this team under you to go away to the big two and get results? Or do you, do you feel that that's not your fight, it's against the other teams? What do you think? I think, I think we said overall, when you look at the, the, the kind of longevity side of it, it, well, it isn't our fight. I think I said that. Uh, once or twice the last time we've played against uh, either Rangers or Celtic um, but I think I also said this before we went to Celtic Park and that you know that doesn't stop us from believing that we can get a result um, I don't think any team under me or any of the, those players in the dressing room downstairs are ever going to tell you that they just hold their hands up they accept there's a defeat coming their way and they'll move on to the next one and see if they can try and pick up points it's just not in the mentality of a football player you know and uh, 
I think uh, probably reference Aberdeen last night. You know, nobody gave them a hope. Nobody, you know, held on the top beforehand, try and keep the score down and try and make sure they're organised and all the rest. And it was anything but that. So us as us as footballers uh, or or coaches, managers, and I think sometimes, especially in Scotland, where you have that sort of mentality that you can uh, you can create an upset, then that that's what it would be on Sunday if we we're able to pick up the result. We we're able to put points on the board after Sunday. It would be an upset. But I think we've already shown um, under my tenure that, that we've been able to do that going to Celtic Park I think at, the, at that point we were the first team to pick up a point there uh, in the latter stage of the season so it shows you what's achievable but again it's only achievable by uh, again getting that real good buy in for the players and need to be really good in the day all things guys like guys like yourselves here every single time we talk about going into these games but it's true we say it over and over again because it's true um, we're not magically going to come up with something completely different that nobody else has seen before that may get as a result you know we're going to have to be dependent on a few factors on the day. The biggest one for me is making sure that we continue to be good at what we have been doing. Um, yeah, you'll need to ride your luck. Yeah, at times you'll need to try and see if uh, if you can cast a seed of doubt on, on what they're doing. Um, but again, I think so much of it comes from us trying to be at our best version. I can take into account what players will play, what system they'll play, because there's been variations for Rangers. Um, but I think if I strip it back, it just means that we have to be at our absolute best to make sure that we give ourselves a chance in the game. Um, and I don't think you'll find anybody at first part telling you that we're going into this game just to go and see how we got on. Uh, we're certainly going into it. High in confidence, uh, in a rich vein of form, in my opinion. Um, and, and, and I think if we do that, what, what we'll do is we'll give ourselves a chance to be involved in a game of football, as I keep saying. And from there, you know, there's defining factors. We better luck whether something drops our way, which it didn't, I felt, on Saturday. Uh, then we hope we can try and transmit that into chances, goals. Um, and ultimately, you're searching for that clean sheet as well. As difficult as that will be, that's something that we'll be searching for in, uh, in on Sunday at three o'clock. Can that belief change though? I mean, obviously, the fact you got that result at Celtic Park, you know, we're, we're kind of deserved to get it as well. And the, and the consistency of the results you've had, is that, you know, there may be times in the past when teams go to Ibrox and maybe have a bit of belief, but you feel you have genuine belief that now maybe you had that at Ross County when you had results against Celtic at that stage as well, that it just grows? That yeah. I think so. I think so. I think, um, but I do think it's an overall picture, and that doesn't give you a, a God-given right to go there just because we feel that we're playing pretty well. It doesn't give you a God-given right to say that you're going to get, go there and get a result because uh, I think as soon as you start feeling comfortable that, uh, that that that's just going to click for us on Sunday, then that's when you fall flat in your face. And we keep reminding the players of that with the work that they do during the week, with their uh, receptive nature and everything that we do in terms of talking about our strategy, how we'll play, how the opposition will play. We need the full buy-in we need that full attention span to make sure that when the big moments come that you execute it and you make the right decisions um, so yeah there is a belief I think there has to be a belief in, in how we're playing if, if we don't have a belief at this stage by how we're playing then I don't know if you'll ever have it um, but the flip side to that is that if you just think that that, that belief's there and it's it's something that's going to get you a performance a result um, then I tend to think that that's when you fall flat in your face so I don't think we celebrate too much how we're playing I acknowledge it and it's right that I acknowledge it because uh, because the players have been good and they've been performing well. Um, but again, I think you're only as good as your last game. I think you're only as good as your last your last result. Unfortunately for us, we felt the performance was good, but we didn't get the result. So hopefully, as we mentioned just a, a few moments ago, that then this this is one that we can show reactions similar to what we did uh, when we had a defeat. But again, you probably take into a, a, account the the record on the road. That does this become the sternest? Test, you know, we've not lost an away game since I in the league since I came in. Fantastic, great. Uh, it's, it's a great accolade. It's a it's a real good run of form. But I, I would suggest you that this one becomes possibly the sternest test in that run. Um, and I think we'll learn a wee bit more about ourselves off the back here. Yeah. Good. How's your All right, team guys. Your team news back, hey, we are hoping to have Connor Wilkinson and Pap Swarry training. Uh, today, so we'll see how they get on, and that might give us an option or two um, for a squad. But uh, we'll have to see in the next couple of days. But be a bit more positive that those two come back into the into the equation.